Welcome to Modern C++ for the Windows Runtime. My name is Kenny Kerr, and in this demo I'm quickly going to show you how Modern enables you to write asynchronous code very simply thanks to integration with PPL tasks as well as the new C++ proposal called Resumable Functions, often simply called Await. Let's start with the fundamentals and then work our way up. Here you can see a simple console app. This is just standard C++. There's the main entry point function, and I'll begin by initializing the Windows runtime. As an example, let's write a simple app to download an RSS feed, and I'll wrap this up in a handy download function. This is going to be pretty simple thanks to the syndication client class that's provided by the Windows SDK. And I just needed to find the address for my blog's RSS feed. Now, I need to download the feed. Of course, this is a time-consuming operation, so the syndication client class provides an async method for retrieving the feed. This retrieve feed async method actually returns an async operation generic interface. The modern library doesn't force any particular async paradigm down your throat. You can use any number of techniques to handle async operations such as this. At the most fundamental level, you could simply respond to the completed event, perhaps with a lambda. Inside the lambda, I can get the result of the async operation. and perhaps print them out with a range-based for statement. And I'll just grab the item's title to make sure it all works. And then we can print it out. Oh, I should just get the feed's items here. There we go. Now let's give it a try. Of course, there's no synchronization here, so we need a way to keep the main function from returning prematurely. This is awkward, and I'll show you in a moment how await and PPL tasks can solve this problem. But for now, let's just sleep. Okay, let's fire it up. We begin by initializing the runtime, and then the download. The syndication client object is created, and then the address for the feed, and then we begin the retrieve feed operation. And I'll just drop a breakpoint inside the lambda so we can make sure it all looks legit. We get the feed. Great. And I'll just let it run. And sure enough, there's the last few entries from the feed. Great. Great. Now while this is handy, and it certainly takes care of a lot of plumbing that may not be obvious. This lambda, for example, is embedded inside an async operation with progress completed handler. It's a delegate to a language projection, but it's really a COM interface, a generic one at that, that needs to be fully implemented, and a pointer to which is provided to the completed event handler to call back when the async operation is done. Still, even this quickly becomes a little tedious. We could simplify this a little bit. We don't need to explicitly hold on to that async operation interface. So this works, but we still have that awkward sleep function to deal with, and there's no simple way to chain some other operation once this one completes. It sure would be nice to be able to use something like the Parallel Patterns Library to have more control over the coordination and composition of asynchronous operations. No problem. Modern provides adapters to wrap generic Windows Runtime async actions and operations with PPL tasks. I can use the task function. And this wraps the async operation inside a task. I can then add a continuation to this newly created task. The continuation automatically receives the result of the async operation, so I can get rid of this line as well. And now I can get rid of that sleep function call, since I can simply wait on this chained task. And let's say goodbye to sleep. That's a lot better. Of course, if you think about it, it would be smarter to let the caller decide when to block, if at all. So I could just return a task object from this download function.
There we go. And then the main function can decide, hey, I really need this to complete now. So that's a nice improvement. And let's just confirm that this works. Great. So if you like PPL, you'll love this support for PPL in modern C++ for the Windows runtime. The Concurrency Runtime is an incredible platform for writing scalable and responsive apps. But you know what? Chaining a bunch of continuations with then methods, while better than nothing, still results in a lot more typing and code complexity compared with traditional synchronous or blocking APIs. And that's where the new await keyword comes in with its support for constructing resumable functions, or stackless coroutines. An incredibly simple yet powerful way to write asynchronous code in C++. Let me illustrate. Let's turn this traditional download function into a resumable function. I'll have this download function return a future instead. A future is a limited but standardized alternative to PPL tasks. But now, rather than all this tricky syntax for tasks and continuations, I can simply call this retrieve feed async method in a seemingly sequential manner. I've just gotten rid of a bunch more scaffolding and the code just looks a lot more natural. The retrieve feed method logically really does return a syndication feed object, even if it does so asynchronously. The await keyword then stitches together the physical suspension and eventual resumption such that the code may be written in a far more natural style. And let's make sure it works. Not convinced? Let me try a more contrived example. Let's write these items to a file using the very async Windows storage namespace of types. I'll first get my documents folder. And then create a file asynchronously. And then, rather than printing to the console, I'll just append them to the end of the file. This is certainly not the most efficient way to handle I.O., but it sure does a whole bunch of async operations quite simply and ensures they happen in the order that you would expect. And that's the point. So let's see if it works. And I'll just use shell execute to make sure this is for real. Something like that. Okay. And sure enough, there's that list of syndication items. Great. So that's a quick tour of modern support for asynchronous programming. Naturally, if a particular async action or operation begins on the application SDA, it will likewise resume on the SDA when it finally completes. This isn't always desirable, and you can also opt to keep resumption on the thread where the completed event was originally raised. Exceptions are also propagated back through to the resumption point, both for PPL tasks and for resumable functions. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching.